Well, I like to draw things that are out of my job. So I like to draw like blenders and colanders. There's not a lot of jobs that say, hey, artist, you know, especially not in comics. To get enough work to pay the rent is hard in any artistic field. So I've always wanted to have something that I could like and also pay the rent and part-time focus on what I really wanted to do. Yeah, this is a new book I just, a little comic I just finished. It's about these two mice and they're in a relationship, um, but the girl mouse is constantly attracted to this trap and the other mouse can't, doesn't understand why she can't be happy without always obsessing about the traps. My comics aren't the, the happiest. <laughs> One of the reasons I really like working in comics in general is that you're producing what in any other form would be seen as like tons like little paintings over and over again on these pages like a normal comic book is 36 pages and each one of those the artist spent like tons of hours on it he drew it he colored it he painted it however his process is and if you're in a gallery and you're trying to buy that exact same size piece of art it'd be hundreds of dollars but in a comic because of the mass production you get 36 of those for three dollars and i think I don't like the idea of art being inaccessible to people who aren't rich. I also like writing stories, and I think comics is the perfect marriage of art as someone who likes to be a writer and also likes to draw because it's both prose and visual storytelling. telling stories with repeated images and they're slowly evolving and you're you can tell an entire graphic novel without any words or you can have tons of text and have the language play a part and it's your choice as the artist. You a food cat. Yep, it's mirepoix. What's mirepoix? Mirepoix is one of the bases of French cooking. It is um, onion, celery, carrots. So that ties into art and my other job. Oh, I love cooking because, I mean, in the more sappy way of it, it's the only art form that you have to participate in to live. Everyone has to eat, and at some point, like, you're making art, and you're putting together flavors that you want hopefully make people surprised, and you are you have the responsibility of giving people things that make them live, and that hopefully are good for them as well as delicious. I've been cooking for like 13 years, and it's worked my way up to sous chef. Yes, it's very exhausting. For 14 hours on your feet, chopping onions, checking in orders, doing paperwork, running to the store, you know. It's so pretty. I don't like to use any garnishes that aren't edible either, so they all taste good. You can eat that? Yeah. It's all pretty tasty. Everyone has a day job. I know people who have had a New York Times bestselling book and still are working a day job. This tattoo says, until death, pen and ink, you know, so it's just a reminder, don't let the day job take over completely. You know, like, I would never do a day job that I wasn't like trying my best at, but don't let it become the main thing. Remember that it's the day job and that you are trying to do something that's going to have a lasting impression. That's why I like about art is that like, I think the idea of dying is terrifying and not existing. So leaving something behind that maybe someone still sees is important to me. My